Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash uh, look at the Army Painter Quick Shade Wash Set. So here we go, we're going to open her up. And we're going to take a look at it. So as per usual, the first part of the video is going to be the unboxing. And the second half of the video, I'll just throw that there for now, uh, will be the swatch review and hold it smokes they jammed a lot in here okay so firstly as per usual we got a uh please take a free copy of a painter guide <laughs> as per usual uh, i think i've got about nine or ten of those and the swatches or sorry the uh, the washes with a staple in them hold on there we go. I want to make sure I do not stab myself with that. So there is 11 in total uh, when it comes to the, oops, sorry, the, uh, the washes. So we got Strong Tone, Dark Tone, a Blue Tone, a Purple Tone, a Flesh Wash. I'm just noticing my camera. Not centered. Flesh wash, uh, mild brown, a soft tone, a red tone, a green tone, a military shader, and last but not least, a light tone, which I guess we'll go with these ones here at the back. And we got some army painter stuff. No. And the thing about uh, properly shaking your paints before using, and I guess this is like a catalog thing, I guess. Yep. Okay. This I might actually keep so I can see things on their, their website without having to go on it. So what we're going to do um, in the next part uh, the next part of the video, I'm going to prime all these caps white. Do they come on the mixing ball? Oh, they do. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to prime all the caps white. Um, let that sit for 24 hours, and then the plan will be to uh, give them all a nice washing, and uh, or a shading in this case, and we'll take a look to see how the paint flows into the recesses in the on the caps here. See how it is when it's uh, on a flat surface in this area, and then a oblong shaped location there. All right, so we'll be right back with the second part of the video. And we're back. Okay, so I've done the paint swatches. Now, I will say a few things in advance. Number one, you'll notice this is a little different. This is actually just some pictures that I took um, very close up of the um, the quick shades. So I thought this would be a lot better than me holding up each one, pointing at a few things and showing a few things. I figured with this, I could go through the four different ones specifically and point out certain things so these are the tones the light the soft and the strong tones um you'll notice that basically this is the exact same color it's like a like brown but it's just getting more and more darker basically now there's more and more pigment from left to right um it flowed a little differently um the very far right one near the strong tone actually seem to flow the most um, as you can see from a lot of the stuff here at the bottom um they flowed perfectly fine into the crevices um and as per usual you know kind of stained what was flat um but flow into the uh, flowed very nicely into the crevices we'll look at the next one so the next one is a specific one so this is the quote-unquote military shader um it's a nice light green um i put it differently than the other tones in washes just because of its name just military shader i'm going to assume that this one is designed specifically for military units we're talking like your imperial guard um, anyone where um you're using some sort of like a green camo colored military unit um they've kind of made this one more of a like a, a military colored shader um, so it's that like nice olive drabby green 
um, it flowed into the uh, the crevices very very quickly and easily um, and I like it I actually like it very much as a nice olive drab color now here are the quote unquote the tones so these are all the colored tones so you have the black one which was still a little wet uh, blue green purple uh, brown and then red um, I found that the purple one didn't flow as well as you can see some of the spots here didn't go all the way down um, the green one once again it was very good to be honest with you I think it's just uh, actually no it's not um, now that I'm seeing these a little closer it's definitely a more vibrant or a brighter green um, I wouldn't use it on like my Imperial Guard or anything like that just because it's too bright um, but it's not bad the blue tone it's very very light like a pastel -y blue as you can see um, I don't know what I would use this on to be honest with you um, just because it brings into the darker uh, into the recesses right it brings in a blue color um, not a green not a dirty brown I don't know what I would use the blue tone for um, yeah it's a little weird the dark tone at least I could you could use on something that you want to get obviously a darker but you want it to look kind of grungy and kind of dirty same with the brown um, it would be good probably on like leathers and things like that um, the red I could see it maybe being used in regards to like blood or if your unit itself is the main color is red and you want to just like make a couple things pop here and there that wouldn't be too bad the purple same as the blue I'm not a hundred percent sure what I would use it on um, what I'm thinking is with the blue and the purple and even to the red to the certain points are weapon highlights even the green so if you're looking at like a plasma weapon um, having like this little blue light coming out of it um, would be nice um, even with the purple and the red kind of like changing up the colors of the uh, the of, of plasma uh, like some sort of weapon um, having it more being used as shading in like a weapon coil but then at the same time because it's a wash it'll leak out a little bit or on your edges and it looks like the color is kind of uh coming from your, your coil a little bit um pretty nice um i like the colors you know i can come up with like little things here and there like i can definitely see myself using possibly the purple tone on my tyranids on the carapace um just to kind of bring in certain little shades into the the crevices so running it along the um the backs and then here is the last one the flesh wash um it's fine it's nothing too crazy um definitely would go with obviously the flesh colored tones for the speed paint um but yeah it's nothing too crazy now you could probably use it as something else like a very light tone so if you look at whoops the flesh wash and then the light tone if you don't want to quite go to the quote unquote the soft tone the flesh wash is a good mix between the two um it's a little bit more reddish brown than the soft tone so you could use it on things like leathers obviously on you know flesh and things like that um overall i i, I think they're good I can come up with theoretically a reason to use almost all of them like i said the blue the purple and the red i can see them being more of washes on like i said certain types of weapons and maybe like hair and maybe some cloth here and there I, i'm not 100 percent sure um definitely the dark tone could go on weapons um to make them look a little bit more grungier um these tones here are more of a how dirty do you want something <laughs> um overall good i like them um you can get them over at your local hobby store most likely or even from the army painter website um yeah like i did what so what i did was i just primed them all white basically just deuced them in uh, in the in the, the wash gave them a look see to see what would happen and yeah so there we go so thanks for watching really appreciate it. you could have been watching anything else but you're watching this so Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next unboxing. Bye-bye.